Amidst the relentless conflict, as thousands of rockets rain down upon Israel, the nation's unwavering reliance on the Iron Dome system to protect its citizens becomes increasingly critical. This remarkable missile defense system stands as a beacon of hope, a proven savior of countless civilian lives over the past decade. With an awe-inspiring 95.6% success rate, as reported by the Israel Defense Forces during a recent rocket barrage by Islamic Jihad in May, the Iron Dome's unwavering effectiveness shines through. But what happens when the conflict spills over? When an Israeli airstrike in Gaza rekindles the ever-present tension? Just as the Iron Dome has secured the borders this time, the effects have seeped into Israel's peaceful center. As dawn broke on Saturday, October 7th, the air was filled with a different kind of alarm. Approximately 50 rockets pierced the skies, a threat looming large. And yet the Iron Dome stood resolute, intercepting 20 of these intimidating rockets. But how does it manage this feat? And what lies ahead for this remarkable defense system? Here are facts you need to know about the Guardian of Israel Iron Dome Missile Defense System. Stay tuned. Number one, Iron Dome, the technology that Israel doesn't want to share with Ukraine. Reportedly, Ukraine has requested Israeli-made defense systems, including the Iron Dome, since Russia's invasion in February 2022. However, Israel has declined to share technology or insights. Israeli officials are worried that if the technology were to fall into the hands of certain adversaries like Iran, it could pose a significant threat to Israeli national security. The fear is that if Iran were to gain access to the Iron Dome technology, it could develop countermeasures or reverse engineer the system which could leave millions of Israelis vulnerable to rocket attacks. Number two, the strongest air defense system in the world. What adds intrigue to the Iron Dome story is the fact that its invention was inspired by a toy car. When Israel decided to develop it as a defense against short range rockets, numerous skeptics voiced doubt, predicting that it would never work. However, despite the initial skepticism and its unconventional inspiration today, the Iron Dome has defied expectations, boasting an outstanding 90% success rate. Notably, the Iron Dome is the only system with a dual mission, offering effective defense against artillery, rockets, mortars, as well as helicopters, aircraft, PGMs, and UAV. Operating within a 44-mile range, it can detect and intercept incoming rockets and artillery shells aimed at population centers. This range is crucial, as longer routes require more time to calculate missile trajectories, making any deviation highly consequential. Number three, effective but pricey. The Iron Dome, developed by the Israeli defense contractor Rafael Advanced Defense Systems Limited, is presented as an affordable defense solution. However, the reality is that the surface-to-air missile batteries come with a hefty price tag. Each battery, of which nine were deployed during the 2014 conflict with Gaza, costs over 100 million US dollars. The individual missiles used by the system are equally expensive ringing in at approximately 50,000 US dollars per unit. In 2017, the system received a significant upgrade, enhancing its precision in intercepting mortar shells of 120 and 160 millimeter caliber, which are just over half a meter in length. Currently, the Iron Dome is undergoing a series of improvements enabling it to not only intercept incoming threats, but also track snipers and drones within a range of up to six miles. The continued development of the Iron Dome, marked by its expanding capabilities, underscores that its effectiveness justifies its cost, driving further advancements.
Number four, one way to defeat the Iron Dome is by overwhelming it. The Iron Dome, boasting an 85 to 90% success rate, has earned international acclaim for its effectiveness. However, recent events highlighted its vulnerability when Hamas launched around 5,000 rockets in a short span, greatly overwhelming the system. While the IDF estimated 2,200 rockets were fired, they did not disclose the number intercepted. The intention was to deplete the supply of interceptor missiles, as even the most robust air defense system can falter under saturation attacks. While critics argue that this demonstrated a weakness in the Iron Dome, experts believe it was more about overwhelming the system's capacity than a failure of the technology. In such scenarios, even the most advanced defense systems can struggle, implying that the Iron Dome itself remains a respected defense solution. Number five, ability to identify rockets likely to hit populated zones. A pivotal feature of the Iron Dome is its capacity to differentiate between rockets likely to impact populated areas and those destined for open spaces. It comprises three key components, a radar system to detect incoming rockets followed by a command and control center that assesses the level of threat. Finally, the interceptor activated when human lives or infrastructure are in danger is tasked with destroying the incoming rocket. When ELTA's MMR radar system analyzes a rocket's flight path and concludes that it poses no danger to populated regions, the Iron Dome remains at rest, refraining from deploying expensive interceptor missiles. However, when the radar identifies a rocket as a genuine threat to a community, city, strategic facility, or any site under air defense protection, Tamir missiles are swiftly launched to neutralize the danger. Often, two missiles are fired, ensuring the target is successfully intercepted even if the first attempt falls short. Number six, Iron Dome is a collaborative project with the U.S. The Iron Dome is a collaborative effort between Israel and the United States. Israel initiated the project, providing initial funding for the deployment of the first two systems. In 2010, the U.S. government contributed $205 million toward its development. Subsequently, in 2011, Israel committed $1 billion to Iron Dome batteries, with additional American support in 2012, granting $70 million for further research and development. In 2014, the U.S. Senate Appropriations Defense Subcommittee allocated $351 million to bolster Israel's Iron Dome security. These are some facts you need to know about the powerful Iron Dome. Among those facts, which one did you find most unexpected? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment. Thanks for watching.